Hi, I'm Allison Stewart with MTV News. Last week, the Washington, D.C. Rape Crisis Center honored activists, including Surgeon General Joycelyn Elders, Marla Thomas, and singer Tori Amos. Amos was honored for a song from her 1992 debut album. The song, Me and a Gun, details Amos' own real-life survival of a sexual assault. At the ceremony, Amos delivered a wrenching a cappella rendition of the song, and she said she's become a founding member of an organization whose acronym is RAIN, the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. RAIN will become the first nationwide, toll-free, 24-hour sexual assault hotline when it opens later this summer. We haven't worked the details out, but we're trying to make it so that it's easy for people to pick up a phone and that they're not alone and they can get tools, I mean real tools, to begin this victim releasing process because you, you can stay a victim forever in your mind and um, there are ways to get through it. It was me and a gun and a man on my back and I sang holy, holy as he buttoned down his pant. In related news, the Pennsylvania State Supreme Court has ruled a man cannot be charged with rape unless his accuser can prove she was physically threatened or that force was used. The case in question involved a female student at East Stroudsburg University who entered a dorm room looking for a friend and instead found his roommate, who she says stopped her from leaving the room and fondled her before locking the door from the inside. He then allegedly pushed her on a bed and had sexual intercourse with her while she kept saying no. The all-male Pennsylvania court found this testimony did not satisfy the state's forcible compulsion requirement. A spokeswoman for the Pennsylvania Coalition Against Rape called the ruling dangerous, noting, quote, we don't teach women to fight back because it escalates the violence in an already violent situation. One local prosecutor noted that, quote, date and acquaintance rape cases probably won't even make it to court now. However, two days before the Pennsylvania ruling, the California Supreme Court ruled that a man can be convicted even if he's unarmed and a woman submits without a struggle. That's the news for now. We'll have more news later right here on MTV. MTV News. You hear it first.